Hi, Kaylin. Is this something worth getting up for? Just a second. Yeah. Don't open it yet. Don't open it. Let's see what you've got here. <gasps> Did I make something amazing? Yes. <gasps> Mother's Day cake for myself? <laughs> uh, no hints there, right? Okay, open it up. I know you're curious. <gasps> Whoa. What is that, Kaylin? Mm. Are you salivating? Uh -huh. What is it? What is that pie? It's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> what did you name it? It is banana, raw some chef, supernatural banana, coconut, cream pie, topped with fresh organic kiwis. <sighs> not locally grown, not when you live in Vancouver, British Columbia. They say it is spring here with winter evenings. No global warming, but my heart sure is on fire for the kid who's eating a pie that's being delivered somewhere else. <laughs> would you like to have your very own pie, Kaylin? Yes, I would love to. I'd like to have mine too. <laughs> but didn't we nibble last night on the remains of the day? Look at me. Was it a beautiful blender? Was it? No licking spatulas, now it's licking blenders and Vitamixers. <laughs> Thank you for showing up to hold on to this cake and well I'm sure that our friends that are receiving this cake won't mind a little bird that's nibbled. <gasps> How long did it take to make this cake? An hour to do. Well the soaking of the walnuts took how long? About overnight, twelve hours. And you, and you rinse those, first you clean them very thoroughly, just rinse water in and out and pour it out, uh, purified water that is, and then, hey shadow boy, don't do that, and then you soak the walnuts, put that back please, and you um, soak the walnuts, right, for 12 hours, then you rinse them thoroughly to get rid of the digestive inhibitors, it's a big long word isn't it, but not for a homeschooler. And so our crust is made out of walnuts, and dates, um, washed and pitted. Could be scary, uh, scary ordeal. That's repetitive, redundant. Could be. You want to keep your teeth, right? And or they want to keep theirs. And then, so dates, vanilla bean, and make sure that's fresh, not like our story. Kaylin, fingers out. And the shredded coconut is from a coconut that who cracked it? I. Kaylin, the coconut cracker chief. Kaylin, coconut cracker. And so coconut, dates, walnuts. Not in any particular order or number. We just go wild, right? Yes. And then, delicious. and you can always um, nibble on the vanilla bean too. Mm -hmm. And then the filling is a lot of, well, a few ripe bananas, right? Mm -hmm. Some more dates, or you can substitute for honey, or you can substitute for stevia. Or you can, that, that yummy herb that you'd love to just overdose on. Or you can substitute with uh, agave nectar, right? Yeah. But all that's been, it's disappeared. Little mouse was in there. Little white vegan raw mouse ate the agave nectar. So we had dates, honey dates. Sometimes we use the dates from Iran, Persia. A lot less mula. And uh, it all depends. And of course we pit those again. Not, one, not against one another though. <laughs> And then the top is kiwi and shredded coconut. Mommy shredded. How did they do that in a blender? Yeah, much easier than a than a than a shredder. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And uh, we made a happy face of sorts. And then we lined it with a few almonds that were left. Because groceries don't last long in our fridge. We're going to get a root cellar and we're going to put a lock on it. <laughs> what a magnificent masterpiece. <sighs> Good looking breakfast. Well, I'm going to go to the gym now and I'm going to make a little delivery before and make a daddy and his son happy. And uh, if that kid's going to bounce off the walls, it's not going to be from any sugar that's served in my pie. This is great for children that are um, served uh, that label ADHD, which is hugely about dietary changes, right, Kayla? Because Kayla knows a few kids uh, in school and out of, well, not out of school, actually. He's a homeschooler, but he knows kids at school that are absolutely deemed to be hyperactive. And all they have to do is make dietary changes. Their parents aren't around. If there's two parents that are working off that double mortgage or two jobs, Kaylin, talk to me. <laughs>
and if it's one parent, they're so absolutely inundated and overwhelmed, they can't even get a good uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner on the table for their child. And cafeteria crap is not the stuff we want served up at school, is it, Kaylin? No. When Rick Mercer reports CB, I think it's BCTV, interviewed us uh, about three years ago, I was called Vancouver's premier female raw food chef for good reason. We did a story on cafeteria crap versus Oh, sin, sushi roll-ups by Kaylin Marion. <laughs> Wasn't it stunning? Yeah. Now we just have to get the film on that and put it up on YouTube and a few other places. Okay, YouTube, we love you. Mm -hmm. Hope you enjoy our little yumminess. So oh, great from the land of yum, Catherine and Kaylin. And for all those special someones. Kaylin? Yes. I love, I love you. And that's why I show you how much I love you by feeding you all raw, ripe, live foods. Alive and loving it! <laughs>